What's happening, Panda Nation? People, I'm Panda here. I'm staying at the Pier House Resort and Spa in Key West, Florida, and I booked the Dockside Suite, even though I can't afford it, so I can show it to you. Let's check it out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Pandy here. I am inside one of the Dockside Suites here at the Pier House Resort and Spa, and I have been here for a couple days, so don't mind the mess, but I do want to give you a little tour of the room because I think it's pretty impressive, and I've also figured out a bunch of details that I want to share with you. So as you come in, you come into the living area, and we do have a chair right here, and we have a refrigerator right here. It doesn't actually get as cold as I think the numbers say. I think it's actually a wine fridge that serves as a refrigerator, so it works fine, and it keeps things chilled, but not necessarily super cold. You also have this little buffet area here with the Keurig and the ice bucket and a mirror right there. I do like the fact that this is lit, so it makes it really easy to use it in the morning when you want to. And then obviously the boudoir here is kind of set up with a king size bed. It's actually very nice. It's soft and pillowy. You've got this kind of leather like vinyl headboard. A couple things that I want to show you here is that you do have these end tables and what I really like about them is that they have built-in charging. Two USB ports, two plugs right there so I don't have to worry about running a cable down to charge my cell phone and those types of things. This is also something that I wouldn't normally call out but this little iHome alarm clock is pretty cool because it has the time on the front but also on the side so when you're laying down in bed here you can absolutely tell the time at a glance. Now I do want to show you here that if you look up at this lamp you look up at the ceiling while you're laying down we have led lights everywhere so nice and power efficient i also want to call out this ceiling fan here because this is pretty cool it's just got an island like feel because it's got these simulated palm frond blades on it you can see that they're molded but they're painted so it just gives you a little bit of that island feel as well which is really nice while you're down here now, I also wouldn't normally comment about a piece of art that hangs in a hotel because usually it's a little low rent, but this little canvas here is pretty cool. I just love these little polygons and triangles and it's got a beach look, but it's like totally abstract. So you get in here, none of this looks like people and umbrellas and towels. And this doesn't look like waves and stuff, but as you pull back, it's got a really nice look. I actually kind of really like that because it's kind of modern looking and yet it does capture the feel of a beach light. So pretty cool. Obviously a big TV right here hanging on the wall. And this TV, just like the rest of the TVs, also has inputs. You can see them right back there. So it looks like you plug in a USB drive or run a couple of HDMI cables to it. I actually did it on the other TV, which I'll show you. But there's no dresser or anything to put underneath it. So if you're running it off an iPad or, or a laptop or something, you're not going to be able to do that there. But if you do want to bring your own entertainment and plug into the USB port there, I think that's fine. Now, obviously, the dock side suites is kind of what makes this the most interesting of the rooms here. And I can just show you that even in this room, hey, look, some people are going out. Look at this, man. We are literally right on the water. I don't want to spoil this all right now. There will be more to come here in a second as we get to the other room, but you can see that little pier restaurant over there. So you do kind of want to pull this closed in the evening, otherwise you're kind of on display for everyone else. And I think that is called Sunset Island right out there. So obviously you are right above the water, which really is what makes this most interesting. Now this is a suite, so there is this room here, and then this little seating area in the back is also considered another room. Now the way they split these up up is they have these little doors here and instead of a pocket door which you can't slide into these walls because everything is nice and compact you have these kind of split doors kind of like French doors right here and now you can separate the room I will say there is a little crack in there so you're not gonna get complete privacy but this would be perfect for you know parents and a family or even a couple friends assuming that you don't mind a little crack in between now I will go swing over here to the bathroom and again kind of the same thing you know these little half doors and they aren't completely private in there so one of the things that I've noticed here is that because you don't get a great seal on there you can block off this room and block off this room with these same doors and then when someone needs to use a bathroom they can go in here so you have actually these doors kind of close this door kind of close that's how you get your privacy as opposed to a really good ceiling hotel room door now the bathroom here is actually pretty big see we have a lighted mirror woohoo 
got all my stuff out here this little square sink and then we have towels and whatnot down here underneath it's a very large shower especially considering you know it's a hotel and a rainfall shower head up here nicely tiled you also have a little teak bench in there too so you can sit down and scrub the sand off your feet if you want you got the toilet here what's also interesting to me is that we have a tv in here so if you're spending a lot of time you can watch a little tv so that's pretty cool and then if we go out here to this little seating area again this is a little smaller than that other room but what we have here is another tv on a dresser now i've actually gone ahead and plugged in an hdmi cable here so that i can run my own media we have a little side table in the phone we have a lamp there and we have a little couch here and this is actually a pullout so if you do have an, an extra guest or an extra couple guests kids those types of things you can pull that out this little kind of island style wicker style glass top table right there and this blanket i also like the floors they have that kind of gray barn wood type of look but they're ceramic tile i believe grouted in there we have another chair right here for sitting in a side table now before i get to anything else one of the things that you might have noticed that is missing here is anywhere to do some work so in most hotels they will have a desk or something probably about the size of that with a chair that you can pull up set up your computer so if you're coming here to do some work sit down at your computer pound out some emails there really isn't a good place to do that in fact there's really nothing here that will kind of suffice for that. So I'm kind of guessing maybe they expect you to come here and just relax and see the sights, but <laughs> who does that? You want to get on Facebook and uh, share all your politics. The other thing I want to show you here is this little closet because it's actually a pretty big closet, maybe bigger than most hotel rooms. It even has a window up here, which is cool. Ironing board and iron in there. We also have a safe right up here. And then you also have another little dresser. So you can definitely set up for a long period of time in here. Now I have actually put in my portable hanging closet. You can pick this up, link in the description. I've got my little go travel bag right here, which is my favorite luggage, my favorite rollerboard luggage, link in the description. And then they also give you these robes. A lot of hotels give you like a terry cloth robe but what's really cool about this is it has a terry cloth like inside and then has a little bit more of this almost like windbreaker type material on the outside so i've worn this out on the patio many times and it's kind of nice because it just kind of keeps you warm when you're on the ocean it can get pretty breezy all right now before i get to the best part of that and what you can see here through the curtains really is the best part of it it's the view what i want to show you here are the curtains again not a big deal and it's just kind of the way it is but these curtains should open up all the way and obviously you should get your full view but these little like plastic rollers in here have taken some abuse over the years and they're kind of getting jammed up there and i don't want to break them and i think it's just from use it's just the design of these little plastic sliders inside of that bar and so i can't get this thing all the way open not a huge deal this is one curtain that i can't get open this curtain over here i was able to get open for the most part and most of the other curtains work pretty well but it's just the plastic rollers over the years have gotten beat up pretty bad so in this case i can't get them open to fully enjoy the view from inside here but Obviously the best part of this is that we are on the corner suite, which I think is the ideal one, but you can go right out here and you are literally over the water. So what I want to show you here is that this is actually the pier and that's why they call it the Dockside Suite, the Pier House Hotel. And this whole area here used to actually be like a rooftop bar, I think. And then however many years ago, they kind of turned it into hotel rooms. And what we get here is what they call like the infinity wall. So it's all glass here tiled and then in the corner here what we get is a really cool little seating area now this is an active channel here and that is mallory pier over there and so if there were cruise ships here at the moment they would be docked up right there so i think this is like the channel where boats can go in and out heading out to sea and obviously if you can see way out there there is a super yacht out there so someone with a couple bucks to burn is living it up pretty good out there again here's sunset island you can see there this whole community out there it's kind of funny to me because there's this other island and it doesn't really look like there's anything out there so um if we take a look over the edge here what you can see is the 
pier end right down there and so you know there's probably 20 feet to the water there but when you're sitting up here all you can see is the water and I really like this room because now you see out to the west here so you can really see the sunsets going down over here it's a really fantastic view you also get a couple of recliners this one is just a regular like chair with an ottoman this one is more of your beach recliner so you can lay down and get a full rest there and then a couple of rocking chairs out here with the side table so I definitely have some drinks with me that I can come out here and booze up with I also like the fact that this is covered here so that in blazing sun or even rain if it happens you have some protection and can still use this so to me one of the great values of having this and obviously you can see the view here and I'll just let you soak it in as I narrate is now you don't necessarily have to go to the beach you don't have to go to some of the open public areas you can just kind of enjoy yourself and enjoy and take in the ocean and the scenes here and breeze and it's always very breezy over here because it's just wind coming right off of the ocean so you can do that without having to leave your hotel room so I think that's a big help because a lot of the hotel rooms even though they might have an ocean view like some of these and you know the hotel next to us is probably a pretty nice place too and some of these have really great views in there but you know if you're facing the city if you're facing the courtyard something like that it's probably going to be a pretty big difference and you're going to be itching to go somewhere where there is a really nice view as you can see pretty breezy out here but people are out enjoying it so just a super cool place to just come and hang out taking your morning coffee out here just chill out believe me I've spent many hours out here already pretty awesome let's just soak it in together Coast Guard station on the other side there so if I fall over I'm gonna be rescued lots of sailboats out I haven't been to this little uh, dockside bar yet but might hit that up tonight oh yeah So how much does the glass railing make a difference? In a lot of the other ocean room suites, they have wooden slat railings, which actually block basically most of the usable view when you're sitting down. So imagine if this railing were all covered up with wood slats and I wouldn't be able to see pretty much any of what we're seeing right here. So the glass infinity walls make a huge, huge difference. Obviously this deck is kind of the biggest draw of this room, so I will roll in more footage at the end. This is pretty sweet. I think one of the best hotel rooms in the Key West area. If you want to stay here, check out room 810, Dockside Suite, at the Pier House Resort and Spa. It's awesome. I could definitely kill some time out here. Peter Von Panda, out. And since you're accompanying me on this vacation, I thought I would show you what it's like to just lounge on the patio here during the day, sunset, and evening. Enjoy.